Visual effects have come a long way since Bruce the Shark made production on Jaws a living hell for Steven Spielberg. Thanks to the advent of CGI, filmmakers can do just about anything they imagine. I know, right? This has led to spaceships and creatures that look more photorealistic than ever, and some viewers have trouble telling if what they're looking at is real or digital. There's no shortage of great examples of these techniques, but not everyone is capable of knocking it out of the park. Sometimes we watch a scene and wonder what the director was thinking when he approved the effects. Here are 10 shockingly bad uses of CGI in famous movies. X-Men Origins Wolverine This film is one of the most maligned in the comic book genre for several factors, including an apparently rushed post-production. One of the defining aspects of Wolverine is his claws, and fans love it when Logan brings them out. In this prequel, though, moviegoers were angered by what they saw. After receiving his adamantium skeleton, they're so obviously cartoonish, they look like something out of Who Frames Roger Rabbit. Considering that the claws looked much more realistic nine years earlier in the first X-Men, this is inexcusable. The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings trilogy was noteworthy for its extensive use of practical effects, but the director's Hobbit trilogy leaned extensively on CGI. Arguably, he went too far in a few places. The climactic fight sequence in Battle of the Five Armies includes a scene where Legolas basically defies the laws of physics as he runs up a tower that has been knocked over by a troll. It's so ridiculous that even the Mythbusters had to come out and prove it couldn't actually happen. We're all for suspending disbelief in movies, but some things have to be grounded for us to buy in. The Twilight Saga, Breaking Dawn Part 2. For all the advancements in CGI, it's still very difficult to realistically animate a human being's face. The uncanny valley is something that few filmmakers have conquered, and the people behind the last Twilight movie failed miserably. When Bella first meets her new baby, the infant's face is so blatantly digital that it sticks out like a sore thumb. It's extremely disorienting, especially when juxtaposed with the real actors on set. One has to wonder why the director decided a CGI face on a robot baby was the right way to go, instead of getting an actual child to use for the scene. Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull Like so many blockbusters of its era, the original Indiana Jones trilogy pioneered some amazing practical visual effects. But Steven Spielberg couldn't resist the temptations of CGI for the fourth installment. Fans knew some things were off from the start. When a digital gopher popped his head up in the first scene, for many, this was a bad omen that Crystal Skull would rely too much on digital technology as opposed to the old school techniques that made its predecessors memorable. It was an odd choice and seemed to serve no real purpose. A real gopher, or even an animatronic one, might have led to better results. Green Lantern As we've said many times before, getting a superhero's costume right for his or her big screen adaptation is a priority. Martin Campbell went in a very interesting direction while making Green Lantern. He decided the whole suit should be CGI. While some comic book blockbusters will digitally augment small sections, like a cape, this was unprecedented and came under intense scrutiny by fans. The costume did not look very good on the big screen, and even Ryan Reynolds had to be disappointed by the results. How else can you explain the jab at the Green Lantern costume? in Deadpool. Hopefully for the reboot, WB makes a real costume. The Matrix Reloaded The original Matrix film was one of the groundbreaking achievements in visual effects with its bullet time, but the sequels could not replicate that success. One sequence in particular that was criticized was Neo's fight against the swarm of Agent Smiths. Some felt that the effects looked fake and cartoonish, a disappointment considering the standards set by the first one. A theory floating around is that the CGI is intentionally bad because it's meant to represent the Matrix itself crashing, but we doubt that that was the Wachowski's intention when they shot the scene. They just overdid it and audiences didn't respond to it. The Mummy Returns Dwayne Johnson is one of the most beloved action stars today, but there was a time when audiences laughed at The Rock on screen. It technically wasn't his fault, but his appearance as the Scorpion King in The Mummy Returns is almost comically bad. The scene features truly horrendous CGI, to the point where it looks like a video game. The Scorpion King is so obviously digital, one has to wonder if any effort was put into his design. Perhaps the filmmakers should have looked for another way to bring his character to life, since CGI was definitely not the answer. Fantastic Four. This film had a lot of problems on its path to the big screen, so some slight errors could be forgiven. That said, some of the CGI on display definitely does not clear the bar many would expect in 2015. In one sequence, the Thing throws a tank that immediately disappears in an explosion without any trace of the vehicle left. 
A careful examination of certain scenes also shows that portions of the digitally inserted background has been copied and pasted throughout the frame, creating a sloppy look for what should be a visually stunning film. Badly rendered effects were the least of this movie's problems, but they're still glaring issues. Air Force One For the most part, this 1990s action flick is highly entertaining, and it features one of the best one-liners in cinema. Get off my plane. Still, even its biggest fans have to admit that there's one scene in particular that isn't all that great, the plane crash. It hardly looks like something that belongs in a big Hollywood blockbuster, as the airplane looks exceptionally fake. CGI was still relatively new when Air Force One was made, but if Jurassic Park could bring dinosaurs back, it's possible to realistically animate a plane. Or, they could have used a miniature and shot for scale, that usually works as well. King Kong Peter Jackson's remake of this classic was obviously a visual marvel, but there was one section where the special effects weren't all that special. When the film crew arrives on Skull Island and explores, they're forced to run for their lives as they're caught in the middle of a dinosaur stampede. Audiences should have been going for a white knuckle thrill ride, but many were taken out of the movie by poor CGI. In some shots, you can clearly tell that the actors are running in front of a green screen, with all the creatures added into the background. Viewers knew that the dinosaurs weren't real, but that doesn't excuse this. Those are just some instances of bad CGI in popular films. Which ones did we miss? Let us know your picks in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more fun videos. Thanks for watching!